Parsons capacitor drainage um, project, which I've just finished, and it appears to be working. I can only test it to the limit of my power supply, which is 60 volts across both. Um, I have a 56 volt capacitor out of a Technics, 1980s Technics amp which you can see is uh, only just got 3 volts on it so what I can do double check that's the negative and positive and this just gives an idea now so whacking that straight up to 28 volts each uh, each side so 56 volts across the 56 volt cap um, and this one is a uh, 6800 microfarad so it's very large for an audio amp um, so that's charged so take that off turn that off take that off so you can see now it's still charged to 56.2 volts so taking these any which way get the light off it and you can see that that one lights well, and if you haven't swapped around it doesn't matter if the other one will light the other way there now you can see the exponential drop standard exponential drop of a capacitor with time <coughs> So this would be 40, it was 56 uh, volts and it's going to take a couple of minutes to discharge, obviously it gets proportionately slower as it discharges, but it's just to show the component calculations that Paul Carlson did because these low brightness LEDs, sorry high brightness LEDs, low, very very low current LEDs will still remain glowing very low down to less than the 4.3 volt zener diode that I've got across the LED um, which is to protect the LED from high reverse voltage which apparently they don't like so you can see here we're down to 8 volts and the LED is still glowing so it's a really good indicator. I mean, obviously this thing would is safe for a human to touch up to um, DC easy, 80, 90 volts DC from the human to touch without any problems. Once you start getting above that, it gets a bit iffy. And certainly if once you get over 300 volts DC, you're risking, in, well, burns, death, pain, all the rest of it. So here, 3.7 volts, and I can still see a bit of a glow in that LED. <coughs> Three volts here, and it's just about gone. There's still a tiny little bit of red in there, it's just under three volts. So, obviously, very sensitive, which is what you want. So, all working very well. Um, haven't tested it on a higher voltage unit yet because um, I've only got the big oscilloscopes. And I really I want to test it on. I could do it by bringing them up on the variac and measuring the voltage across the caps as I bring it up and check that this thing's not getting too hot. But that's for another day.